Let's get to the business of the day. Lawyers from Mawako Belinkpe branch manager Jihad Chaban have served notice of challenging the decision of an Abeka district court, finding him guilty of assault and causing harm. Jihad is accused of dipping the face of Evelyn Boachi, a caterer at the restaurant in Tablende Pepe. A court today sentenced him to nine months in prison after finding him guilty. Lawyer Julio de Madero described the court's judgment as unfair, for which reason they intend to fight. Joe News' Joseph Akabli was in court and now reports. The terms of settlement that has been put before the court and the court will be making a determination as to whether to admit that as judgment or not. So we'll know the fate of jihad in some few hours' time. So that was a few hours before Magistrate Victoria Ganza delivered the judgment of the court. Uh, first and foremost, she had to deal with the issue of the terms of settlement that have been presented to the court, asking that the parties be allowed uh, to settle the matter beyond the presence of the court. She rejected that, saying that it was not appropriately before the court. As uh, she explained that this was purely a criminal matter between the state and the accused person, Jihad Chaban, for which reason the court cannot entertain that. She then proceeded to deliver a judgment on the subject substantive matter. Jihad Chaban was found uh, guilty on the charge of assault as well as the charge of causing harm. He was subsequently sentenced at six months and nine months respectively on both charges. The two charges are to run concurrently, which in simple terms means that uh, Jihad Chaban will be spending the next nine months in prison. The judge explained that uh, the prosecution had succeeded in proving beyond reasonable doubt that Jihad Chaban indeed caused them to the accused person and again uh, caused them to the complainant and again uh, assaulted uh, Evelyn Boati for which reason the court found him uh, guilty. His lawyer put in a plea for mitigation and the judge considered all that and arrived at that conclusion of the sentence. Jihad Chaban, right after that judgment was delivered, was led out of the courtroom. Uh, he has been found uh, guilty on the charge of causing harm as well as assault and for which reason the court has decided to sentence him uh, for six months and nine months respectively. Both sentences are to run uh, concurrently. He had pleaded not guilty uh, to that accusation uh, but the court has found him uh, to be guilty now and is now being led into the vehicle away uh, to custody. Lawyers for Jihad Chaban are not going down without a fight. Uh, they have already served notice of filing an appeal against this court's decision delivered by Magistrate Victoria Ganza. Julio de Medeiros addressed the press right after proceedings. Of course, we, we would abide we would abide by it, we, but we entirely disagree with the findings of the court. We thought that we put up a very good defense. She thought otherwise. Um, she did not even consider when the investigator, the lead investigator on the case said in evidence before her that it was an accident. We have said time again this was an accident. She thought otherwise. We have taken instructions from our clients to appeal immediately. We are going back to the chambers to start working on the appeal process. Uh, you know, one day in incarceration is so bad, we are going to uh, apply for bail pending appeal. And of course, this is a very sad day for all of us. The fans. other part about the terms of the settlement, uh, the court are rejected that. Is this something that you are looking forward to? It's entirely off the table now that the court has found your claim. No, 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 it's not entirely. We've said that we wanted to settle this matter with the girl. The girl also wanted to settle it with us. We have settled the matter. The judge, at least in considering our plea for mitigation, should have looked at the settlement. Because this is somebody who came to court and said, this has happened. And this is the same person who has settled the matter. The judge should have at least considered uh, the, the settlement. She said it was off the table. I didn't understand what she meant by that. But she has spoken. I have nothing more to say. Thank you. It appears this is not the last of the case as the lawyers have served notice of filing that appeal. I uh, will definitely be looking out for that engagement once it's appropriately brought uh, before the court. Reporting for Join News, my name is Joseph Akable from the Abeka District Court. Ms. Gifty and off here. Let's get some more on the story. Kobe Ofori Armstrong's brother of Evelyn Boache, the caterer. He joins me over the telephone line uh, so that we can get some reaction on that. Hello, sir. Thank you very much for your time here on the post. Now, what does the family make of this judgment? Yes, good afternoon and thank you to your listeners and your, your viewers. From, from, from the family's point of view, we, we are happy that for one judgment, have been tell. Most of the time you hear of such stories, but 
because of who people know, by the time we realize uh, this case will not even reach it anywhere, but we thank God and we appreciate whatever judgment that have been acquired today. We are so happy. We are so happy. How is your sister feeling? What does she say to this? She 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 is excited. Even 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 though today she couldn't make it to the uh, to, to the court because she had an appointment also at the hospital. But when I when I told her of the news, she 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 was happy. She was crying. I thanking God that not for anything that the whole world, the whole Ghana, the whole nation have got to know the truth. And the truth was that yes, she was assaulted. Yes, she was humiliated. With all the stigma, with all the pain around, just for this 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 pronouncement from the judge is enough to satisfy her pain. Mm. I see. Well, let's talk about the issue of settlement. It did come up. The lawyers told the court that you had agreed to take this matter out of court. What exactly uh, uh, has been the nature of engagement between the family and, 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 and the restaurant on, the, on this matter? Okay, so quickly, to bring to speed, you know this case has two sides of the coin. It has the criminal side and the civil side of the right. case. Hmm. So while the criminal is being called, you can still pursue the, the the, the, the civil civil side, which can land you a compensation. Right. So we, so we spoke to our lawyers, and, and they thought it was needful that we pursue it. So by the help of the, the, labor, the labor department and also from the Minister of Employment, we sat down and they told us that according to the labor laws, every qualified for a workman compensation. So they brought the two parties together and we agreed on the workman compensation for every, which also in another way constitutes the civil side. Because mm. from my from, from the little knowledge I have, even when you take it to let's say the high any higher court to ask for compensation, it will still be revert back to the, the the labor commission to work at the compensation. So if right from the onset the ministry with all the other departments are standing to bring peace, then we thought it was it was, it was okay. Okay. Even though it wasn't uh, what we expected, but it is better than none. Okay. So you did take some money from there. Um, how much are we looking at? We, we, yes, yes, we did. We, did, we, we, took, we took an amount, but we, uh, we have been advised by our lawyers to, to, to be quiet on it till further notice because we are still in the process. Mm. Uh, not, to, not to breach any uh, agreement or anything. Very well. So, what, could, could it be the case that the reason the, the lawyer for Chaban said you are settled the matter out of court, I think this was yesterday, that you are taking mm -hmm. this money, or mm -hmm. is it a different arrangement he was referring to? Oh, I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why he said that. Because when, when agreement was reached, it was stipulated in the contract that this, this, this term that has been met only constitute the full payment or the full compensation for the civil side, which was written bold and clear. Okay. So I don't know why they took it. They took the agreement to court last week just to go and hijack the the, the, the judgment just for their own whatever. What I don't know why. Mm. I don't know why. But in the agreement, it was stipulated that it is for the civil side. Who am I? Who is Evelyn to 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 stand and say no? I am, I am going out of court for settlement for the criminal case. When you go to court, the criminal case is between Chaban and the state. Okay. Even Evelyn's name, Evelyn is just a party, a witness to the case. Mm. Okay. So I don't know why they did that. I, I think it was, it, was, it, was, it was in a bad way. Mm. Now they talk about uh, going on an appeal. They're going to file an appeal. How, how, how does that sound to you as well? I, I, don't, I don't know what they want to appeal about. If what I know was that from court, the prosecuting team were able to pro uh, prove uh, the case beyond reasonable doubt. Okay. Maybe they have they have fresh evidence. Maybe now they, they will change it because they said it wasn't pepper, but it was it was onion. Maybe the next time they go, it might be water. So whatever they want to do, I, it is it is at the back of my my case. Right. And I thank God. What is definitely what will definitely not be at the back of uh, at the uh, at your, your back case, as we say it here in Ghana, is how Evelyn fares from now. What's the plan? For for, for now, even right now, as I'm talking to you, she is yet to return back from the hospital. 
So what we want to do quickly is for the doctors to clear her if she can work again, or let's say with her eyes, she can go back to school. Okay. Because the reason why she went to Mawako was to gather some small, small, small things, some small money, mm -hmm. put it together and go back to school. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. now quickly, whatever the family can pull together, we will pull it together and put her back into school. Does this scare so you that, that does this scare you that she might not be be employed by any company, perhaps because of the controversy, or will yes. she start something on her own? Yes, personally, I have I have I have I have gone with her twice to a place that they were they, they were they operated body that they were looking for sales girls. That same day we went there, they took everything, and they said she can start work tomorrow. The next day they called and said, Ah, are you the been watching the Marco case? And she said yes. I said, oh, we no, we can't employ and now we the, the people are so many and blah 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 twice. So oh. that means it will take a while before all of this stigma will go away. But before then, we, we still want her to go back to school, probably set her up also. That 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 will that will be great for her. Is because she can't go back to Mawako. Obviously not. Obviously not. But if she, ha she has gone to uh, a company and they've turned her down because of this case, is this something you want to take up as discriminatory? No. For, for, for now, you know, the way people, people do their things, they will not necessarily point it to you and say, it's because of this. It's but, because of this. Mm. But by their reaction, it is enough for you to see. But for the knowledge they have about the name, that, that is just scaring them or something. I don't mm. know. So you you can't prove it. It's not something that you can prove. Yes, uh, yes, which is why you not take up the case as discriminatory. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I see. So right now, you say she's with a doctor. She's happy that uh, at, the, at the result uh, of, the, of this particular case. Yes. And yes, you're looking yes. forward to taking her back to school, perhaps, or setting her up with the business. Yes, yes. She is grateful to everyone and also to the multimedia group for, for standing with her through this uh, long time. We appreciate, we thank you so much. We also salute the, the, the Minister for Employment uh, and also the Minister for Leave uh, Gender, the Minister for Gender, Mrs. Otiko. Mm. We appreciate this too very much for their support and for their love. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very it. much. Thank you very much. And we wish her all the best. And we'll see if this will indeed be the last of this story. Kobe Ofori Armstrong is brother of Evelyn Boache, the lady in the center of the Mawako controversy.